one of the first things that we need to do, the United States of America needs to do, is we need to declare this a genocide. The United Nations needs to declare it a genocide. But the reason why we won't declare it a genocide is because if we do, there are automatic mechanisms that go in place that force the United States of America to act. And the policy of this administration and Republicans and Democrats that are complicit in it is that we just want to let this region fix itself. Johnny Moore on this program last week urging the UN and the US to call the persecution of Christians in the Middle East genocide. Since the rise of ISIS, Christians have remained targets in that region, but more and more groups are standing up to fight for the Christians there who fear for their lives. Joining us now for more on the story, the founder of the Iraqi Christian Relief Council and a fellow at the Philos Project, Juliana Tamarazi. Juliana joins us from Newsmax, Washington. Uh, Juliana, we both heard Johnny Moore. Do you agree what he said? Is it time for everyone to call this genocide? Absolutely. Uh, Congressman, thank you so much for having me on. We have been at the Iraqi Christian Relief Council eight years at this, uh, knocking on Christian doors, on synagogue doors, and really asking for the Americans to wake up to this very real issue because the Christians of Iraq who are at, by ethnicity Assyrians, uh, they have been faced with this reality of genocide since 2003. Uh, we have been urging the Pope really to call this what it is, to show leadership as he has been, but to be more strong and mobilize the Vatican to take diplomatic actions encouraging the world powers to really do something serious and something substantial on a global level for these people. You mentioned Pope Francis. He is headed to the United States. Your organization, in fact, holding a prayer vigil for the victims of ISIS that coincides with the Pope's trip. Now, you said the Pope and the Church have done some things, but specifically, what can the Vatican do internationally to really help make the difference? It is extremely important for them to bring many world leaders to the diplomacy table and let them know that the the Christians of the Middle East really are the bridge of understanding between the fundamental Islamic East and the Christian West. And it is extremely important to maintain that presence in the Middle East because if as moderate Muslims uh, who don't ascribe to this fundamentalism and as Christians and other minorities really leave that region, that entire area becomes a breeding ground for fundamental Islam. And that is going to creep up in the West. And I believe the mass exodus out of those regions, among those people fleeing those countries, coming to the West, many ISIS members, and I call them ISIS and company, have found their way in the West. And it, they are going to come here, as there are actually many that are here. But going back to the Christian issue, it is very important for the Pope to also, I believe personally, to bring the Islamic clerics to the negotiation table or to the conversation table and see what they can do from their own religion from within. Because otherwise we're being looked at as uh, the Crusaders. Well, you mentioned the Pope. Uh, when it comes to President Obama, there you are in Washington. Do you just believe the Obama administration doesn't really prioritize the plight of Christians in the Middle East, in Iraq, and elsewhere? Yes. Um, I have to tell you, Mr. Obama, President Obama, just does not care about the plight of Christians of Iraq and Syria. Uh, back, we, my organization has done a study. In 2014, the uh, percentage of Muslims coming out of Syria into America was 80.9 or 89 uh, percent. And compared to Christians that have been completely devastated in that region, in that country, it was about nearly 6 percent. So this has been going on not only just last year in 2014, but throughout his own administration. Uh, the numbers were much higher under President Bush, but under Obama administration, things are vastly off. So when you hear Secretary of State John Kerry saying that uh, looks like we're going to take in 200,000 refugees, the majority from Syria, uh, you believe for the most part they will be Muslim, very few Christians, and the bottom line is this administration just has ridden off the Christians being persecuted. Without a doubt. I just came back from Jordan, Congressman, and people, I have not vetted this information completely, but people who I've met with, the Assyrian Christians who've been displaced because of IS in Jordan, they were told by UNHCR 
uh, that there is a block on them leaving Jordan for the next two to five years. And this is only targeted towards Christians. Um, I know Canada for a while was accepting them, but you know what? The main, main most important thing I think in the West, especially in America, we have to understand is we cannot take millions of people into this country or the other countries. These individuals want to remain in their own homeland. Middle East used to be a beautiful mosaic of a multinationalism, a multi-religion, uh, and today now it's just become a pure breeding ground for uh, fundamental Islamists. And it is also important for us to understand that the Christians of Iraq are not, their history is not only 2,000 years. We did not, um, our history didn't begin but with Jesus Christ. Our history is 6,700 years old. Duly our noted, and on that land. note, Juliana Tamarazzi, we will have to wrap it up. We thank you for your time. We look forward to visiting with you again.